I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. We're going to take 14 and 13 tiles, alternately, to mimic a dealt hand. And then we're going to practice identifying the strength of the hand, which is the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls alternating between the dealer east and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. We have a joker, a north, three, four, six in cracks with a pair of sixes, two, six in bams, one, three, four, eight, nine in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the sixes. We could either play two, four, six, eight, or three, six, nine. There's two, four, six, eight, but we also have three, six, nine potential. Well, get in there. So we have two tiles to pass. We could either play three, six, nine, or two, four, six, eight around the sixes. I think what I would do is consider both and give up a four for the first pass. We could still maybe do two, four, six, eight. And we're really in between. Maybe what we could do instead is let a three dot go, keep the four, because we do have more tiles for two, four, six, eight. Even though we only have one, two, that's a bit of a challenge. But here we have three, six, six, nine, five tiles. Here we have seven. So I think that's what I would do. Oops. Either three, six, nine or two, four, six, eight. That would be my first pass. If you would do something different with these tiles, Right, pull one and what you would do. We have a pair of flowers, south, white, three, six in cracks, two, five, eight in dots, two, four, five, six in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. We even have a hand in here. Two, eight, four, six in the middle in a different suit. So I think I would focus on two, four, six, eight. Maybe pass those three. If consecutive comes in here, 
we could maybe play consecutive. So I'd let the five dot go with that three. There is consecutive run potential in here too. We could do, for example, three, four, five mixed suit Kongs. But here we have four numbers to work with. And if we keep the four, six, we have even more. And there are a couple hands that we could play with mixed suits. There's a couple hands we could play with flowers too. So I think that's what I would do with these tiles. If you would do something different, right? Pull two and what you would do with these tiles. We have jokers, a couple of flowers, white dragon, four, seven in dots, three, five in bams, one, two, seven in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the twos, maybe play a year hand. We do have the potential for mixed suit Kongs, two, three, four. So I think I would keep those, but we're left with sevens. I would not pass like numbers. I think what I would do here, one, two, I think I would let a four go, pass one of each suit, focus on year tiles. If we get wins, we could even consider a quint with all these jokers. American Mahjong is a very flexible game and it's a game of multiples. So if you build around multiples, you'll optimize your potential to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.